Right, it's Phil again. This is the prototype of the six channel reads encoder, the new small one, uh, using the uh, commercial SMT um, circuit board. Um, left and right rudder. So we've got rudder, elevator, and progressive throttle. Now, this button in the middle. If you hold that, that's rudder trim, that's full right. And full left. There you go, so that's ten steps of trim in either direction. Same for elevator, hold the button, up trim. That's ten steps in the up direction. Full down trim. There you go, that's back to neutral again. And um, if you want to use um, throttle cuts, you've also got trim on throttle as well. Put it, elevator, throttle. The range check function works as it did before. If we switch off, hold the button down, switch on, we're going to a range check mode. The idea is that you can leave the transmitter somewhere, take the model with all the servos waggling away, take it away as far as you can, do a, a single handed range check, and you can watch for the continuity of movement just to uh, see if there are any um, losses of signal or uh, stuttering, that kind of thing. Uh, two ways of exiting that, either switch the transmitter off and back on again, or just flick the throttle. So that's the range check mode. In range check, if you hold the button down for a length of time, I think it's about 10 seconds, it will ID. Oh, that's G4PHL, that's me. So that's range check mode. Again, either switch off and back on again to uh, stop it or just flick the throttle. Either way, high or low doesn't make any difference. Now, the other thing is the, the servo transit speed has two options. Let's try and straighten those pointers out. This is the slow speed. Maybe you see it best on the throttle servo. We have the option of a faster speed. To get that, hold the button and switch off with either down elevator or up elevator. One pip says it's done it. Let go. Now we're on fast speed. Now I've found that's far too lively. In fact the old the old read servos were quite slow and I found that on the fast speed it's it's far too lively and uh, much better on the slower speed. So to slow down hold the button down elevator switch on. One single pip says it's done it let go and we're on slow speed again. The mnemonic to remember that up and down is slow down speed up slow down speed up So that's the slow speed again. And just like the trims and the reversing, the transit speed is also saved to flash. So next time you switch on, it's there with the same settings as you left it in. Now inside, um, this is the new SMT encoder, 450 Gen's Ace battery, um, Frisky DFT module, and there's the button in the middle there. There's a close-up of the actual board, and the beauty of these is that they're, they're commercially available, so I can get any number of these. So that's quite a tiny board, that's about an inch square. This is quite a small transmitter. 
Um, it's hard to tell because nothing to compare it with, but there's a there's a standard 2.4 aerial. It's about the same width. These are 3001 servos. You can see it's quite a small transmitter. Uh, well, I'll, <laughs> I'll own up to drilling the hole in the wrong place <laughs> the first time, but uh, I got away with it. There we go. In the aerial. Servo so re reversing is the same as the uh, the big encoder, the ten or twelve channel one. Um, at the moment, rudder. Rudder is going anti-clockwise. If I switch on with the rudder thrown, rudder is now going clockwise for right. So at the moment it's it's following the switch, left for left, right for right. If I hold the rudder over and switch on, it's now left for right, right for left. So that's reverse the rudder. Similarly with the elevator. <coughs> Up is to the right at the moment. If I switch on with the elevator thrown, up is now to the left. And these are remembered uh, with the power off, it's all saved to flash EEPROM. Same with throttle, that's reversible as well. Um, but uh, of course you're always going to be careful with throttle reversing, especially with electrics. There you go. Six channel reads with trim.